Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a collective haul. I have quite a bit of stuff, so um, I'm sorry if it's going to be a long video, but it probably will because I like to talk a lot and I've got uh, tons of stuff to show you guys. And basically this is just a whole lot of stuff that's kind of uh, been building up over the past, um, I don't know, probably like three or four weeks, so um, I thought I'd show you guys some of the cool things that I bought. So first I'm going to start off with some things that I got from um, American Eagle Outfitters. I don't normally shop there, but I did find some stuff that I liked on their website. And it wasn't until recently that I actually figured out that um, American Eagle sells um, extended sizes. So I was really happy because they have um, a lot of their stuff that doesn't have like blatant logos and stuff. Um, everything but that is uh, sometimes really cute, so I found a few things that I liked. So the first thing I found that I really like is this black um, tank top. It has a uh, really high neck like this, and um, it's kind of hard to show but since it's not on, but it has a really high neck, and it has this really pretty netting across the chest. Um, I think it looks really pretty, and um, it also has a little keyhole in the back. And so it's just a really long black tank top. Um, I really like long flowy tank tops. I just feel the most comfortable in them. And um, yeah. And this was um, originally $29.95 but um, they had some sort of sale going and I got it for $11.98 so uh, that was $17.97 off. The next thing I got is going to be a little hard to show but um, it's basically just a, uh, uh, a black maxi dress. Um, nothing fancy, nothing super, you know, unique, but I actually don't have any maxi dresses in now. I do, and, um, dresses are kind of something that I typically don't feel comfortable in, and, um, I, one thing is I really don't like my legs, so, um, I don't like showing my legs very much, but, um, with a maxi dress, and since I'm so short, it completely covers my legs. I really like it, um, it's really comfortable, and even though I'm so short, I feel like I can still pull off a maxi dress. So it's just a plain black maxi dress. It's got like a little banding under the um, uh, chest area and kind of like cinches in a little bit. And um, yeah, I really like it. Uh, and the price of this one was originally $49.95 and I got it discounted for $39.96. So I got a total of $9.99 off. Then uh, the next thing I got since um, summer is well on its way, um, I decided to get a pair of shorts. So I got um, just a really basic pair of denim shorts. These are called the Frayed Denim Festival Shorty and um, they are originally $39.95 and I got them for $15.98. So the discount was $23.97. And the last thing I got from American Eagle, which I was kind of skeptical about because um, buying shoes online is kind of hard because, you know, you never know exactly what the sizes are going to be, you know, whether they're going to be true or not. But um, I got these wedges. I really, really like them. Um, they're like a kind of like a red cognac color, I guess. They've kind of got this braided... Um, uh, little straps across them and it's super comfortable. I was amazed at how comfortable um, these were and um, they're pretty tall but like the actual rise of the heels not that bad so um, relatively comfortable um, definitely easy for me to walk in and I suck at walking in um, like high heels or anything I, I'm terrible at that but um, yeah, I really like these. I actually like wearing them with that maxi dress that I showed. Um, I know a lot of people say don't wear black and brown together, but I really actually like it. So I um, wore these with that black maxi dress, and then I had a matching belt that matched this color, and I just had that um, um, on my waist, and it kind of tied it all together. And these are called the Braided Wedge Sandal. It was uh, the most expensive thing I got. They were originally $59.95 and I got them for $47.96 for a total discount of $11.99. So the next store that I got things from um, is Sally's Beauty Supply. I actually went to two different ones so I'll show um, what I got separately. But um, my first trip to Sally's, so the first thing I got was the Rue um, Fancy Full Temporary Hair Color Rinse in number 49 Ultra White Minx. I basically got this because I wanted to try um, and see how it works. It's basically supposed to be a temporary 
kind of like a temporary rinse in dye. It's not really a dye though. Um, but I wanted it to try to like kind of turn my hair a little bit whiter rather than yellow. So I wanted to try something that wasn't permanent. So I'm going to try this for a while and see how I like it. Um, basically what it looks like is it looks like purple tinted water and you basically you wash your hair and you towel dry it and then you put um, some of this in your hair all throughout it and then blow dry your hair and um, it's supposed to you know help um, white and gray and bleached or tinted hair so um, I'll see how that works um, I don't have the receipt for this so I don't know how much this was but I think it was maybe around like five or six dollars then the next thing I got was just um, another tint brush um, I have another one but I lost it so I got this one this was like a dollar 27 or something so really inexpensive and I like them a lot and the next thing I got was this little uh, nail buffer shiner miracle buff and shine block uh, this is probably like a dollar or maybe two dollars I don't remember exactly but I got that and then at the checkout counter you know how they always try to sell you that stuff so um, I got the ion smooth solutions uh, replenishing keratin um, smoothing mask um, I got two packets of it they're originally $2.79 but she said they were on sale for 99 cents so I got two of those to try out um, so I'll see if I like those so also at the first time I went to Sally's, um, I renewed my um, Sally's card because it had expired and it was like $2 to renew it and then I got a coupon for $5 off a $5 purchase and then the next day I got a coupon in the mail for Sally's stuff, the little like brochure thing or whatever and I was really mad because I just gone to Sally's but um, uh, I decided to go to another one that was closer to my house so I went to that one and I had those coupons and I got... Um, the uh, Ion Color Brilliance Brights um, Titanium Semi-Permanent um, Hair Color. I was wanting to try this because I think I kind of want my hair to go silver. So I think I'm going to try this soon. Um, I'm kind of scared to do it though, but I'm going to try it. And then um, my coupon was for um, buy... Uh, it was like to get a free hair dye absolutely free so I got this one and when you bought those hair colors you got uh, this for free and it is the Ion Color Brilliance Powder Lightener so it's just a little packet of um, basically I think a little packet of bleach and then you uh, mix it with developer and bleach your hair um, uh, they just came out with new colors of the Ion one so they have like um, azure, rose, lavender, and titanium. So I got these two for completely free. And since I had just renewed my Sally's card, I had that coupon for $5 off. And I decided to get the Ion Color Brilliance Bright Clear Semi-Permanent Shade Diluter. Um, and this was the same price as this. So with my $5 off coupon, I got... Um, all of that completely free so that was really cool um, so I'm just gonna try this I know you can dilute hair dye with like conditioner and stuff but I just wanted to give this a try and plus it was free anyway so um, I guess I'll be doing this soon I don't know if I'm gonna do a video or not um, showing it let me know if you guys want to see that but I'm kind of scared to do it but I really um, I really want like a ashy silvery blonde color hair I don't really want it gray so that's mainly why I got the diluter but um, yeah so all of that was completely free so next actually today I went to Charming Charlie's um, which or Charming Charlie um, which I had only been there once before and it was like sensory overload when I first walked in because it was crazy there was just so much stuff to look at um, so basically hadn't been back since um, but I went there today and only got two things the first thing I got is this really pretty slash gaudy um, necklace um, it was in the clearance section so um, I guess you know most people didn't like it but I think it's so pretty and it just kind of reminded me of like Marie Antoinette which I love her so much it was originally $15 but um, I got it on clearance for $7.99 and it's really pretty because it's got the double 
um, chains around the necklace. I think maybe it'll make a really great costume thing if I never actually wear it, but um, I love it so much. And the next thing I got, I really loved when I first saw it, and I still love it now, and it's really pretty, but it's not that practical, and I almost wish I didn't get it. But it was this, it's this headband. It's this really pretty headband. I love um, how it looks. It's really, really um, pretty. The only thing is it rips out my hair, and that's not cool. It pulls at my hair when I put it on. My hair gets caught into the little grooves of it, and... <sighs> And it's almost, it's like just the tiniest bit, a little tight on my head. Maybe I have a big head, I don't know. But um, it's really pretty and I'm kind of, kind of torn because I, I don't know. But even, I don't know, it might look cute that way. But it's really cute. Um, even just now it's like pulled at my hair and I'm afraid it's going to like break off like my hair because I've really damaged hair because I bleach it and everything and um, I just don't have the best hair so um, it's really pretty I don't know how often I'll wear it though because I I wish I would have really thought about that when I first um, you know saw it and it was fifteen dollars too so I kinda of feel like I wasted my money but um, I don't know. If I can get it in place and like not move it around, then it would probably be okay. It would just be like a little tight on my head. So this is kind of what it looks like on. I, my, I look really stupid, I know, but um, I guess if I were to wear it as a headband, it's a little more doable, I guess, because it's not pulling at my hair. I don't think I'm one of those people that can really pull off headbands, um, but... I don't know it's really pretty and I love it and I don't care if I look stupid this might be the only way I can wear it and then finally I went to Ulta today I still have gift cards from Christmas um, I've really been I don't know I wouldn't say like saving my money or anything I just haven't been super interested in um, a whole lot of you know new makeup products but um, I definitely don't need any more makeup products, but I still buy some, so. So the first two things I got are, um, I think they're semi-new. Um, they're from NYX, and it's the Love in Paris palettes. I got two of them. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I totally get suckered in with, like, thematic things. Like, and since the theme is, like, Paris, I totally get sucked in. Um, so the first one I got is this one. Let me open it up and show you. And the packaging is really cute. It has like a little um, bow on there. It's really cute. Um, and the, pra the packaging is actually practical too. It's a nice small palette without um, any extra frills and crap. So you get nine eyeshadows with each palette. This one is the palette Let Them Eat Cake. And <sighs> with my Marie Antoinette obsession, um, I basically got it because it said let them eat cake and I know that's horrible don't buy things because of packaging don't buy things because of um, names names is what really gets me um, but um, I actually do really like NYX eyeshadows and um, there are a couple in here that there's like one in here that isn't that great but um, I'll get over it but um, pretty neutral colors um, dark tans a little bit of like a rusty color some really light peaches, a dark espresso y brown, espresso y brown, a little bit of pinks, um, really pretty colors. I'll swatch a few. So here's some of the colors swatch on my fingers. Um, pretty good. Let me swatch them on my hand. So this one's a little hard to see, not because it's not pigmented, just because it's um, a really close color to my skin tone. It's kind of like a, a pinky sheen, but um, I can definitely see it on my hand, so um, I know how that might. Um, look like it's sheer but um it's not that bad so that was let them eat cake and um ulta was also having like buy one get one 50 percent off um of nyx cosmetics so um i got another one um same uh collection nyx uh, love in paris and this one is called madeleines and macaroons and i love macaroons so another one where the name the name kind of sold me um and honestly these are kind of similar, um, not necessarily color-wise similar, but overall, they're pretty similar. I mean, none of the colors are 
exactly the same, but they all kind of overall do the same effect. So I could have lived without one of these. I probably could have lived without both of these, but I, I'm aware of that. But um, it was still, it was back and down 50% off. So, um, and these are also $10 each. So you can think of it as getting one for 10 and one for five, or you can think of it getting like, um, like seven fifty each. So one of the difference, um, between these two, the Madeleine macarons and the let them eat cake one is this one has a lot more, um, matte colors. It's a little bit more like matte and like the tiniest bit of satiny finish. There's only one that's a shimmery eyeshadow and the shimmery one um, honestly sucks. So I'm not happy about that, but um, these are mainly all matte eyeshadows. The one color in here that I hate is the center one. It is like this, it's a really pretty color. It's like a um, kind of like a pale buttery yellow um, with like gold shimmer in it. And I really don't get much from it um yeah I really don't get much from it that really disappoints me um about this palette this one the Madeleine and Macaroons um but still otherwise all the other eyeshadows in this are um pretty decent um and uh besides that one color otherwise I'm pretty happy with these and the last thing I got was the Maybelline color tattoo eye studio um like cream eyeshadow in the color Icy Mint and I didn't even know they had this color. I haven't been keeping up with these. I feel like they have like 40 of these now and I have no idea. But um, I saw this one and I was, it's called Icy Mint and um, it's a really pretty um, Icy Mint color um, and it was the last one so I was kind of like, oh it must be fate, um, whatever. Uh, but I love, you know, mint colored things. And this one's more of like a silvery mint. Um, it's got like the tiniest hint of like a bluey um, color to it. It's really pretty. It's great if you want to put it under like a, a silvery um, mint kind of color um, eyeshadows. I actually have a tutorial where I did a look like that and I love how it turned out. Um, and this probably would have been a great product to... Um, have with it but it's right here and it's just a light silvery mint um, uh, color it's a uh, very metallic it is um, one of the sheer ones so you kind of have to let it um, you kind of have to do multiple layers of this like let it completely dry but um, otherwise it uh, builds up pretty nicely it, it doesn't get super streaky like um, the painted purple one, I think that was the first one I ever got, and I was like totally pissed off because that one sucked. But that's basically it for my giant haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I know I got quite a bit of stuff, but this is stuff that I've had for about, um, over like the past like three or four months, or three or four weeks rather. Um, so I didn't get it all at one day. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Please follow me on Tumblr and Instagram, and until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.